many students get confused between bottom up processing and top down processing bottom up processing is driven by senses and whatever you see in your environment that is called as bottom up processing for example if there is a bed or a red color or a rectangle or a door like in the wall clock i uh, you know showed it to you or you can see here in the picture so whatever you are seeing here the four is written not conventional as one v it is written as one 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 right so whatever you are seeing you are your senses are perceiving this and at the understanding of it you are telling that this is what it is so you tell on the basis of whatever you are uh, sensing in your environment that is called as bottom up processing it is a very lower level cognition and it organizes the info now comes this top down processing what is top down processing it is not sensory driven like uh, bottom up it is more schema driven so whatever concepts or understanding we have in our schemas on the basis of that we try to retrieve we try to recall and say something for example if somebody says that you know draw what wall clock looks like in roman numerals or after showing you this clock if you you know somebody tells you can you draw the picture of this you are likely to write one v as four rather than one 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 this is called as top down processing top down in top down processing it is all schema driven and not sensory driven and it is high level cognition so in top down processing whatever information that is coming you are interpreting that information not on the basis of senses but on the basis of your prior experiences a very famous example of top down processing is troop effect let me show you some words uh, some letters here now in this picture you can see that there are words like red green blue black and pink now here whatever the word is it is different from the actual color of that word like for example here you can see red is written in green green is written in pink blue is written in black black in blue and pink in red so all the colors of the words are different than what they actually mean so if you are reading if i tell you please read the color of the word so if you say green pink black blue red that means you are using bottom up processing you are saying what you are sensing but now if i tell you to speak out the colors of the word again but instead you make a mistake and say red pink black black pink now here what you have done you are reading out the words rather than the color this is a top down processing you are not using your senses here according to your schema your brain works as in reading the word so you are reading the word rather than seeing the color of the word so this is a top down processing in stroop effect so i hope that you have understood what is bottom up and what is top down processing if you have any problem at all please write in the comments below I hope you liked my video and if you have any comments or you have not understood anything please write in the comments below and if you liked it then please like and share and subscribe to my channel because I will be talking much more about IB psychology and in general videos as well